hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another interesting topic on docker so in this video we will uh, have a quick view on the top 33 mostly used docker commands you must have already known it some of them you must have you know uh, not aware of some of the uh, commands but i just want to show you in this tutorial the common uh, you know, um, commands which we regularly use it so this will be a quick uh, you know, um, tutorial on each commands very quickly going through like what the command syntax would be and uh, how the output would, would be okay so we'll also see uh, some of the commands on the hands-on as well when we uh, talk about each commands so let's uh, get started so this will be a docker fundamentals uh, you know, uh, tutorial so let's see about this uh, docker command okay so let's start with the, the first command so which will be you know to create a docker container using image from a docker hub so this will be our normal uh, each and every day task so but if you see you know the difference and uh, what i'm going to show is like a docker create so most of the cases i don't know whether you have used docker create you must have used docker run so we will see about docker run also in the upcoming commands but you know the, the common way to create a docker container using image is docker create uh, but the difference between docker create and docker run is docker create will create the docker container but it will not start the container so let's see what will happen when we do this docker create in a uh, actual uh, docker machine so i have this uh, machine where docker is running so let me run this command docker create so let's see what it does okay now if you can see it has created the docker container and if you see i don't have a docker container running and if you see the the container is created you know as uh, you can see the alpine image in the container uh, id but the difference is this container is uh, not running it's actually created the container but it's not running so let's see the second command so on the next usually when you create a container you have to uh, know how to start a container so you can see the next uh, important command we use usually is the docker start the container id right and also the one of the uh, command which we used to do is like how to stop a running container so for that you need to use docker stop container id right and you know you have to delete a container means you have to use uh, docker stop container id so let's see uh, how this uh, happens in the actual uh, scenario so now we have this uh, container uh, used uh, using docker create right now if you want to start the container docker start and you can give the container id so you should be able to see the docker uh, container running so if i go a docker ps now you have the docker container running if you want to stop the container you have to use docker stop and the container id so it will get stopped A small uh, change, you know, uh, when I showed in the previous, uh, you know, a uh, few minutes before, for deleting a container, what I showed is like uh, Docker stop, right? It should be Docker arm container ID. So for deleting uh, stopped container, it should be Docker arm. But if it's a running container, you can use Docker arm hyphen F for a force uh, delete. Okay, let's so let's delete this uh, container. So as you can see Docker arm. Now we can see the docker containers are deleted so now we don't have any uh, containers running so before i move on for the next uh, commands uh, you know if you are new to my channel or if you are uh, have not subscribed to my channel i would request you to click on the subscribe button and also like my video share and comment and also sh give your feedback on the videos so that i can improve and i can take off a uh, new topic as per your requirement so let's move on for uh, some of other basic uh, docker commands uh, so now we have created a container okay so uh, how we have used docker create docker start docker stop docker arm now let's see how to you know list the container so this docker ps command i already used it in the uh, you know actual process so you would have seen like when i use docker ps it will list down the docker which are running so it will not list down the docker which are not running so you can also use like docker container ls which does the same thing like uh, docker ps and if you want to have uh, the containers running and also the stopped container you have to use docker ps hyphen a or you need to use docker container ls hyphen a so these these are uh, this would be day-to-day -day commands which we use uh, in our uh, you know, docker environment for getting the containers details 
So now uh, you know how to create a running container. So that's where we have to use the Docker run. So whatever you did like Docker create, Docker start, the combined action it will happen in the Docker run. So let's try to do that uh, in the actual uh, process. So let me run that command so you can see docker run hyphen d uh, and it alpine. So you now if, if I go and see the docker ps, you can see the container is already running. Whereas when we use docker create, it create the container but it does not start. So now we have a container which is already running. So the difference is uh, you know, uh, docker run, it will uh, create a container which is in the already running state. So now let me uh, remove this container so you can use docker rm. And you can use hyphen f for force uh, delete because this is a running container. So that container is uh, uh, deleted. Now let's see what's the other commands. Now uh, let's create a named container. So when we create this docker run or docker create, it will create the container with the default name from the docker itself. So if you want to name a container by specific name, what you can do is you have to use the argument like hyphen hyphen name and the container name. So you can see where here I'm using docker run hyphen d hyphen it hy you know uh, hyphen hyphen name and the container name should be I'm giving like first container and the image and also you know if you want to kill a container uh, you can use uh, docker kill container id so usually I won't recommend to do that docker kill so you basically you should do stop the container uh, you know that would be the abnormal process of shutdowning a container if you kill it it will uh, cause some issues on the container configurations. So let's create a named container. So let me run this command and you can see the container is created. And if I run the Docker PS, you can see the name is first container. Whereas in the previous case, it has uh, given a uh, default or random name uh, like update. So uh, we don't know what name it gives. It's a uh, random names which Docker gives by default. So if you want to give a you know, uh, uh, named container, you should use uh, you know, hyphen hyphen name. So let me delete this container now or you know you can try to kill it so you let me kill this container so you can see the docker container is killed okay so that's uh, one way of killing but as i said they use stop so that's the best way to do it now let's see some uh, some more commands so how to attach to a container so uh, there is a command called docker attach and you can use the docker uh, container id so that will attach uh, help you to attach to the container and also how to run a contain uh, commands inside docker container you can use docker exec uh, container id and the command so that will help you to run something on the container itself and uh, how to list all the docker image you can use uh, docker images so it will list out all the images which is already available in your docker machine and also how to remove docker images you can use docker rmi and the docker image id so let's see about this so uh, let's go into that okay so now we have this uh, container running so i can use docker attach and uh, this container id so what it happened is now i'm already inside the container so we are uh, you know inside the alpine container so if i click on exit we are out of the container as well okay uh, but if you see this container is exited and it's also stopped so now if you want to you know uh, directly go into some container you can use uh, let me create this docker let me start the container first so start okay so if you want to use docker exec you can use docker exec uh, hyphen it and this container id and if you want to run some command, uh, probably I will run a shell so I can be inside. So now you see we are already inside the container. So you can use docker exec to uh, connect to the container and also run some uh, commands. So you, you can run uh, directly some commands as well uh, with this uh, format. Okay, let me exit from this. And also you, you have seen docker images will list down all docker images available. Now if, I, if you see I have repositories from Splunk, Elasticsearch and also alpine right so these are the image id and if you want to re remove some docker image you can use docker rmi and you can run this uh, image id so it will automatically delete uh, the container so you can see it has deleted the image so sorry i was i, I told like it will delete the container not the container it will delete the uh, docker image 
so we are talking about uh, docker rmi so it will be deleting the images not the container so let me clear out the screen now let's see what are the other important comments so if you want to copy some contents between uh, container and the host file system so that also you can do it directly with uh, some of the command lines so if you see one of the command is docker cp so docker cp help us to copy some file from container to the host and also from host to container so now if you see the format is docker cp and you can use the container id slash in the file name and the file from the host and uh, that will copy it from the container to the host so but if you want to do it from uh, host to oh, you know, uh, uh, the container it should be the other way like docker cp the file and the container id so if, as i said like if you want to copy from the file from the host to container it should be docker cp the file name and the container slash file okay and uh, one of the other key uh, commands which we use uh, in the docker is to expose the ports of a container so in this case what you can use uh, hyphen p so if you see this command here we are running docker run and we are naming this container as web server and we are using hyphen p so that we can expose the port so we are using 8080 from the host and 80 from the container and we are using the nginx right so we'll we'll uh, try to run that in the um, you know machine so we'll see how it does and also if you want the changes done in a container you can use uh, docker diff container id and also if you want to create a new image from uh, existing container you can use docker commit and the container id and repository tag that means you already have a container uh, but if you want to convert that container is as an image you can use docker commit so it's easy for you to uh, convert that as a image now let me run this command uh, docker run a web server so it's trying to download the nginx image let's wait for a few minutes now you can see this uh, container uh, is created and uh, you know uh, process as uh, configuration complete and ready for startup right why we are able to see this all logs in the same screen because we have not run hyphen d which will be detached mode so it's like a direct uh, command which is happening so let me exit from this okay so let me exit out so let me uh, use docker diff uh, command to see what is the difference in this uh, container so let's see what it uh, gives us so now we can see uh, there are not much changes I think so it's uh, root uh, that's a history so that's only the difference between so if you make some changes in the container it will uh, give uh, that uh, uh, difference as well so let me clear out so if you want to convert this uh, container as a image you can use docker commit and the image id and you need to give a name so i will give uh, the tips for you test and maybe 1.0 you can see it has created a docker image so i will check docker images you can see this repository mentioned as this one and this uh, tag is 1.0 which is the version so that's that's the easiest way you can convert an existing container as an image okay let's see what's the other command so you can uh, also add persistent volume to the containers so how you can do is you can use uh, hyphen v and uh, in this command if you see hyphen v i'm uh, mapping the pwd that's the current folder in the host machine to the var ww from the nginx container you can change this according to you so if you want to create uh, you know uh, other file you can use other location you can change that uh, rather than uh, you know dollar pwd you can also give you know a docker managed container name like uh, nginx uh, var file or something so it will create an automatic uh, you know uh, volume for that now um, also see how we can monitor the host of docker container so in this case you can use docker events so what will happen is when you run docker events it will uh, give you logs of whenever there is there are any containers got created those details will be received for you and also if you want to inspect a docker image history you can use uh, docker history and the image id so since the image is created using different layers you know you can, if you use the docker history it will give you the complete details on how the uh, image is created 
so one thing you have to be very careful when you create the uh, image is like if you are giving some username or password or anything in that image uh, you know docker file what happens is you know when you create an image you may think you know that it's uh, you know hidden but you know if you use the docker history you may be able to see all the commands it has run to create the uh, image so now let's see how we can uh, rename an uh, existing container so for that you can use docker rename the container current name and you can use a new name so these are uh, basic commands you can use okay and let's also see some of the networking command so how to restart the container so this is a general uh, state command you can use docker restart like docker start stop kill so docker restart so in order to list down all the docker network you can use uh, docker network ls which will list down all the networks used in docker you can create a docker network using docker network create and the network name you can also use uh, other parameters like whether it should be a bridge or overlay those kind of arguments as well so but this is a straightforward uh, uh, you know command it, it will create a bridge uh, network and you can also get the detailed information about the network using docker network inspect and the docker uh, the network name so these are some of the very useful command for networking so you can use that as well now let's see uh, some of the other commands so how we can delete a docker network you can use docker network arm and the network name so it will delete the existing network and uh, one of uh, the other useful command for is how we can connect to a, a existing network so you have a docker container running already but you have other network which you want to attach to the existing container so it's a simple you can use docker network connect the network name and the container id so that network will be connected to the container existing container and if you want to disconnect from a docker network you can use docker network disconnect the network name and the container id and if you want to use uh, delete all unused network or container you can use docker prune so if it's a network you can use docker prune network or if it's a container you can use docker container prune so what the prune it will happen is like it will delete all the uh, network which are not in use and also same way like if uh, all the containers which are not running it will be deleting when you use docker container prune okay let's see more, some of the more docker commands so how to build the docker image from docker file pretty simple uh, you would have used uh, before or if you don't know uh, this is a simple command docker build hyphen t you have to give the image name and the version we want to use and also the docker file path name so if you are running this command from the same folder where you have docker file you can use uh, just a dot file there just a dot so that it will be docker build hyphen t image name and uh, you know, dot so that means you will use the docker file inside that folder if it's a different folder you have to use uh, that full path as well now how to create a docker volume you can use docker uh, volume create and the volume name so uh, this will create a docker managed volume and also if you want to remove some volumes you can use docker volume arm volume name so this volume will be saved under var lib uh, docker and the volume uh, location so you should be able to see there and also if you want to delete a uh, container upon exit you can use the command like docker run hyphen hyphen arm so that will what it does is like when you have a container running uh, once you exit from that it will automatically delete that container so it's not going to stay there so it will delete automatically it will stay only when you're running that uh, container so that's a pretty useful uh, command which we use most a uh, lot of cases where you want to do something on the container but once you exit the container will be got deleted so i think that's all uh, for this uh, we have covered uh, quite some good uh, commands for uh, docker so i'll be putting all these details uh, you know on the video description as well so you can go through you know the, all the details uh, for this video and more videos in my channel so i would request you to subscribe to this channel and support me for uh, you know view more videos and also kindly like my videos, share and comment.